Hello, QPR fans and players TV. DJ Ranger back with a club news roundup. Um, talking about um, season so far. Uh, saying a thank you to certain people for doing Q&A interviews with me. And general news on players, etc. and so forth. Uh, first of all, um, regarding a big thanks to the following people who uh, done a Q&A interview with me in 2020 and early 2021. Um, so from fans to ex-players and to QPR members of staff. Uh, so the following people, I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, Dave Robinson, Gavin Maguire, Trevor Chalice, Stu Keogh, Paul Murray, Zach Sutton, Neil Mosley, Peter Blexley, Nick London, Neil Banfield, Terry Mancini, Joshua Scott, and Hogan Ephraim. Thank you guys for joining us on the channel to do a Q&A interview with us about being a fan, an ex-QPR player, or a member of staff at QPR. Um, looking forward to doing lots more this year in 2021. Feel free to message me, ladies and gents, if you want to get involved, if you're a fan. An ex-QPR player who wants to give us your highlights on your time spent at QPR, or if you work at the club in any any degree, feel free to message me on any of the channels I'm on, and uh, we can arrange that, no problem. Um, male, female, young and old, you know, all, all types of fans are most welcome. Players, you name it, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you guys and girls. Um, with regards to club news, as you will know, um, after the Fulham Cup game, the club announced Charlie Austin was re-signing for us on loan. Um, what happens after his loan period, who knows? Um, and then obviously he started against Luton in which he scored the first goal, which we went on to win the game 2-0. And unfortunately for QPR, our game against Wickham on Saturday was called off due to COVID um, symptoms, etc. within the Wickham set up which is a shame for the team for us the fans um but we we move on ladies and gents we've got cardiff away next wednesday um but regarding team news obviously as you know we signed uh the defender from hull on loan with a view to a permanent move after that all being well uh geordie device dutch guy um haven't seen him play personally unless he's played against us but I didn't really take much heed of him, but I'll have to look out for him. Um, obviously, young guy inside with Bright is um, coming to an end, hopefully now. He, it's been official that he's um, pre-signed an agreement for Fernabashe over in Turkey um, in the summer. And obviously, depending on the scenarios with whether we can agree a deal prior to that and whether QPR gets some money, we'll have to wait and see. If not, then QPR will just get compensated. Uh, this talk of um, ongoing chats between Les, etc., in the club, and they, I've seen on social media platforms in the region of like seven hundred fifty thousand for a deal to be agreed for him. Um, something's better than nothing, but you know, he um, he's made his mind up, and obviously he's going to join them all being well. And Let's see what happens after that, ladies and gents. Um, obviously, the club have made this statement on the website, as you'll have looked now. I'll just give my view on it. Um, with my view on it, um, personally, he's gone about it the wrong way, unlike other players in recent times who have left, like Eze, um, who just got on with his game of football. But to be honest with you, I think once Cubs come in for him, obviously, I think his head was turned and his performances haven't been that great overall. Any little spurts, he's kind of done well. But there you go. Everyone's different. Obviously, uh, you make your bed, you lie in it. So, obviously, um, we'll have to see what happens, whether you're actually playing more games than QPR or not, depending on whether they can strike a deal and go from there. Um, I'm sure us, the fans, will have their views on it, whether if there's no deal done and he sees that his contract and goes and we get a conversation for him instead, whether he plays or not. Um, 
I'm sure everyone will have their opinions if he does or not. Um, obviously, the QPRV Derby game coming up has been selected for overseas broadcasting. Um, but season ticket holders can still see the game via their season ticket vouchers. And non-season ticket holders, like normal, will, will have to get a match pass for it. Um, that's it regarding the club news, ladies and gents. Um, and obviously the thanking of the, the fans, the ex-players and the staff, QPR staff who have done interviews with me. Uh, that's it for myself, DJ Ranger, for a QPR club news roundup vlog. Um, I'm out of here. Come on, you arse.